All right, man, let's talk about um, Aiden Hutchinson. Looked like to be in the right pick, um, you know, in the draft. What was it, 2022? Um, so it looked, looked like he was the right pick. It looked like the Jaguars made the wrong pick. Um, but then again, it's still, um, you know, it's still – you know, it still was, you know, um, still time to tell. So I, I believe it was said that if the Lions had the number one pick, they were going to take Trayvon Walker. Now, there's a little thing, a little difference there, right? Um, you know, and but, you know, if the Lions, the, the Jags that took Aiden Hutchinson, the Lions was going to take Trayvon Walker. So I wonder if the Lions had the number one pick where they took Aiden Hutchinson or Trayvon Walker. Now, financially, you know, they might have had a little bit more incentive to go ahead and take, uh, you know, Aiden Hutchinson being that he's from the University of Michigan and maybe, you know, they would have took Aiden Hutchinson. That would have been an interesting conversation to have. Would they have took Aiden Hutchinson or would they have took a Trayvon Walker, you know, had they had the number one pick? But, um, but for the most part right now, Aiden Hutchinson looked, uh, knees, toes, he needs elbows and toes and shoulders above, you know, Trayvon Walker and, um, and, uh, and Kayvon Kibido. Now, Kayvon Kibido, he comes to the league with some injuries. I was reading on Sports Center today how I don't think the Giants has registered a sack this season. I could be wrong, you know, uh, you know, um, I was reading how they hadn't even met, registered a stack yet, sack yet. You know, they they, they going through some things over there, bro. Uh, and I like Kayvon Kimbo over Aiden Hudson. I said it again, but hey, right now, you know, situations are different. Um, but the Giants got a hell of a defense. It's just the offense sucked, but he ain't doing his job. He came on late last last year, though. He did come on late last year, made some big plays down the stretch for him. So they, yeah, he got a sack. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, he got one sack this year. I don't know what the stat was, maybe last couple games. So, yeah, he got one. They give you all these different. Yeah, he got one sack last year, had four sacks in 14 games last year. Um, you know, one tackle for loss, two QB hits. Uh, uh, let me see. So, um, then you go to Trayvon Kibbo. Now his his situation. I mean Trayvon Walker. His situation's a little bit different because I kind of think he kind of got the Isaiah syndrome, uh, the Isaiah uh, the Isaiah Simmons syndrome going on here. And what that syndrome is is simply that they got him playing multiple positions. Probably now we know he wasn't no like he really he was a hell of an athlete. What the problem with him was he wasn't no real true. He didn't have no pass rushing moves. So really, he got the size of interior lineman, but he got the athletic ability of a defensive end down there. So he got two sacks this year already, nine solo tackles. Um, you know, so you know, so you know, last year he registered uh, three and a half sacks. He got two already this year. You know, um, two four tackles for loss. So he ain't having a bad year neither. Three QB hits. You know, so uh, and then they got him standing up. So that's a huge adjustment, bro. They got him standing up probably in the three, four. Forced fumble in his career. They got him standing up. That's a lot to ask. You went from being on the inside to being on the edge to being standing up on the edge. I mean, that's a lot to ask. You know, and they get these dudes that can do multiple things instead of, you know, putting them in the position what they do best. And then sprinkle them, sprinkle, sprinkle. Is it sprinkle, sprinkle, lady name? Instead of sprinkling them here, sprinkle them there, they overutilizing him. They utilize him in too many different ways for him to be effective. You know? You know? But, you know, that is what it is. But, I, I, you know, you never know. One injury can change everything, you know. One season can change everything. They're all very talented. They ain't like nobody a bust. and ain't like it's Jameis and Mariota at the top of the draft. You know, 
you know, you know, so. So, you know, but, it, you know, like I said before, it's, 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 it's a marathon and not a sprint. But Aiden Hutchinson right now is it's making noise. Three and a half sacks already. Should have more with all the holes. Forced fumble. You know what I'm saying? You know, he got, you know, uh, uh, you know, 12 combined tackles, two, two tackles for loss, seven quarterback hits. I mean, he on pace to, to break everything he did last year. Despite some bullshit calls, you know what I'm saying, um, in the game. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, to me, when I seen him in University of Michigan, I know he played on the inside for a while there, but I didn't see this type of athletic ability. Um I didn't see this type of athletic ability and uh you know at the University of Michigan. He didn't look as athletic. He looked a little bit heavier. Maybe that was the scheme. But like he got to the league and he and he and he slimmed down. He got more athletic. He looks still looks strong. And um, you know, every time he go without a sack, Lions fans want to turn around and say he a bust, but they don't they not looking at the actual film and you know him needing some help on the edge. Everybody needs some help. You know what I'm saying? So, um, you know, but nonetheless, right now it looked like the Lions made the clear and um, made the clear and right choice. So it looked like they made the clear, the clear and right choice, man. So, I mean, at the end of the day, uh, You know, at the end of the day, man, it's like, you know, you know, it is what it is. You know, I think it's still gonna be a it's still gonna be a marathon, not a sprint. But right now, Aiden Hutchinson look good, but they all they all look pretty solid. They all look pretty solid right now. And uh, you know, anything can change. You know, Trayvon Thibodeau was one of them dudes who didn't have no pass rushing moves. Gonna have to develop some pass rushing moves. That's something that we already did know. So you know, but hey, let me know what you girls and guys think. Um, thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Next, subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notification, increase your chance get notifications. We go live or drop video financially. You want to support the channel? Uh, cash App, dollar sign CJ Good three one three Venmo CJ Good three one three. PayPal link in the description. Hit the link tree. Find me on Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal. Check out Detroit Lions Talk playlist. Don't forget to check out my new channel right here on YouTube, Free Game 89, FR, 33 Game 89. I appreciate the love and support. Um, peace.